no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net being locked up, having your freedom taken away forever for extended periods of time, never again having sex with a woman, never again touching a tree or going on a hike, eating food such as a substance called Nutriloaf that one inmate in Milwaukee has called cruel and unusual punishment and successfully brought the case in front of a federal judge. It all sounds like a fucking shitty existence. Almost worse than being in the studio audience of John Stossel's show on Fox News Business Network. Work. The U.S., with only 5% of the world's population, holds 25% of the world's prisoners. From 1975 to 2005, the number of Americans locked up increased 700%. And that doesn't even include the toddlers trapped inside the, the, the colorful plastic tubes at McDonald's Playland like so many hamsters. And the one thing, the one thing that makes moral people, genuine human beings, okay with this punishment is the belief that those going through it are horrible criminals, murderers and pillagers, killers and molesters, rapey types and bestialites, people that are not fit for society. That's the concept that makes most people okay with proceeding with this torture. So it would only make sense that no one is getting fucking paid to make sure as many people as possible are placed in this despicable, miserable, insufferable hell. But if you privatize our prisons, put corporations in charge of our penitentiaries, that's exactly how it is, and that's exactly what we're doing. More people are in privatized prisons than ever before. The more people in jail, the more money these assholes get. But obviously, these companies can't just grab people off the street and lock them up. That wouldn't have the, the necessary facade of justice. That wouldn't appear polite. Just like Goldman Sachs employees can't literally shit on people's faces. They have to do it by way of business practices. So what do these private prison companies do in order to lock people up? They do what all corporations do. I'll spell it for you. They L-O-B-B-Y are elected officials. The word L-O-B-B-Y is a little tricky. It's actually pronounced bribe. They bribe our elected officials to get stricter laws that allow authorities to lock people away for small drug crimes or for being an immigrant without a license or in the case of one Texas man, stealing a candy bar got him 16 years in prison. Wall Street twats stole a trillion dollars and got zero jail time. Do you have any idea how many fucking candy bars a trillion dollars could buy? Like, like, like a trillion. Our freedom is a commodity now. It's bought and sold and traded like so many hamsters. And yet people seem to get more upset if blowjobs are bought and sold. Sit there and think to yourself. Think hard and long. If you could only pick one, which should be illegal in this land of the free? Ten minutes of blowjob or fifty years of neutral love? That's your Moment of Clarity. Today on Twitter, by the way, I'm giving away three free copies of my Moment of Clarity book. Go to at Lee Camp to find out how to win one. And the Moment of Clarity podcast today has an interview with the creator of the new movie, Bailout. You can listen at LeeCamp.net, iTunes, or Stitcher. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.